Okay, so I brought this model into the source engine and we're looking at the hand plane source normal map. And if you look at these highlights, you can see that the shading looks perfect and smooth. And if I run over to the other side, you can see the highlight on the top of the model also looks perfect and smooth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting away and then overwriting the VTF file with different normal maps. So first I'm going to switch over to a 3ds Max normal map. So you can see the shading broke. There's a bunch of shading errors on the top of the model. And if I run back over, we look at the highlights in the back, they're also broken. So now when I cut away, I'm going to show what an X normal tangent space map looks like. So as you can see, there's still shading errors. They're not quite as bad, but that does not look flat and smooth. And if I run back to the other side, you can see that the uh, errors on the top are actually pretty bad. And then lastly, I'm going to do a uh, Maya normal map, and I'm going to be showing uh, Maya 2012. Since the Maya 2013 output we have, um, the weighting of the normals is going to be really, really different than what source expects, and it's just going to look completely broken. So this is a Maya 2012 output. And as you can see, the errors are pretty bad. And with both the Maya output and the um, X normal output, I had to flip channels uh, to get them oriented correctly. But uh, these errors are not from incorrectly flipped channels, they're from uh, mismatched tangent basis. So lastly, I'm going to switch back over to the hand plane map so we can see uh, how much improved it is again. And uh, one of the really nice things about hand plane is even if you do have shading errors like this and you want to correct them, um, it's a lot easier and faster to iterate on your bake. Uh, so with a traditional baking workflow, if you have an error, you have to add some sort of supporting geometry and then rebake the model uh, to fix that error. Whereas with hand plane, what you can do is um, go in and just say add a supporting loop, and then instead of rerunning the bake, going back into X normal and setting up your projections again if something changed, what you can do is you can just re-output your low poly model, run it back through hand plane, and get a new tangent space map, and it just takes a couple of seconds instead of having to go through the trouble of uh, rebaking.